he was such a gentleman in, in every sense of the word and what he said he meant and what he said he'd stand by. You'd meet people like Ted Wesson and, and James and they were like our figureheads, our gods. It was all that sort of skies and vapour. He loved skies. He sort of documents his life with his paintings which is rather sweet. I always have a small sketchbook in my pocket when I'm out walking with the dog. His life was quite a routine, and so the dog featured large, and he'd, he'd walk the dog every day. That's why he sketched so much down by the River Windrush, because it was sort of combined with his walking route. And went out to India uh, in 1941 for the duration of the war. When he got there, they said, where would you like to go in a good sort of British way? And James said, Northwest Frontier, please, because he packed all his painting gear. So I found this portfolio when sort of rummaging through the studio with Dad and asked him what it was, and it was called Bush Shirt and Palette. And he sort of said, oh, well, I put together all these different paintings from my wartime experiences in India. Edward had a very bad heart because he was a bit rather overexcited about things. So he asked James if he would do his painting course for him at Dinton. And I think he passed that idea on to Dad that it's important to keep the pure watercolours alive and to do that you need to sort of bring on the next generation. The, the things that he painted I could relate to so well, you know, they're timeless paintings and it's he painted the England that we all know and love so dearly. So it's that mix of, of sound drawing and uh, the bravura washes uh, which all knitted together to make a really very special painting. I'm a great believer in pure watercolours. I mean the great thing about Norfolk is that it's, it's full of subjects for the painter and I'm always enthralled by it every time I come here. You know, he was trying to, to teach us to sort of follow in the footsteps of the great uh, watercolour masters of the 18th century. Dad was desperate to have some sort of a society that would keep the pure watercolour tradition going. And I think while he accepted other mediums, he wanted to know that this one would carry on. He just wanted to keep alive the tradition of pure watercolour, and that's a wonderful thing to have left as a legacy.